Next example two of block break. Problem two of block break. The block break as shown in the figure six point one is to balance the torque of five hundred newton meter on a drum shaft at thousand RPM. Assuming the coefficient of friction between the shoe and the drum is point two five, two times less than sixty degrees. Determine the tangential force on the shoe. Normal force on the shoe. The force applied to the brake for clockwise or counterclockwise rotation. Dimension of C required to make the brake self-locking and heat generation heat generated. So this is the given figure. So as you can see, the is given the given figure. So the diameter of the drum is five hundred. The diameter of the drum is five hundred mm. This is the so this is the lever. It is a fulcrum. It is a fixed pointed here. So the force applied is up upward. So this a from here to here is called a. A distance is two fifty, and the from center of the disc to here distance is called as b. B is seven fifty, and c this is c distance c is fifty. So now. So now we have to find. So the given terms are A is two fifty, B is seven fifty, C is fifty, D is five hundred, R is two fifty mm. Torque is five hundred newton meter, and is one thousand RPM. U is point two five. So now two times is less than so two times is less than sixty. So U is mu only. Now we have to find the equivalent friction. So first, finding the tangential force. So torque is given. Mt equals to Mt equals to F T into R. Mt is five ten raised to five newton mm. F T into R. F T is two hundred new two thousand newtons. So normal force on the shoe F N is F N by mu. So F T by mu. F T by mu is two thousand mu is point two five. So it is eight thousand newton normal force. Now force applied for clockwise or counterclockwise rotations. As you can see, this is so. So, so this problem, so this problem is the uh, second case of block break where the after that is in between the center of fulcrum and center of the drum. So this is called as the second. So this is the second case of uh, block break. So, so for sec for second case of block break, we have to refer the Uh, equation number nineteen point one four five in the ten book. So you have to take in the a plus b one by mu minus c by a for clockwise rotation. I'm finding clockwise rotation. It is nine point one four six. Same formula with the plus sign. Now finding the factorization for the f for clockwise rotation. So you have if you have substitute the values, you have to take a a that is two fifty plus seven fifty into bracket one by point two five minus Fifty by two fifty, we get substituting on simplifying all this with that nine thousand one thousand nine hundred newtons. Simply using the formula for counterclockwise, that is nineteen point one four six newton book. We have to turn to a upon a plus b one by mu plus c by a. Substituting the values, we get two thousand one hundred newtons. So keeping as it is, so we have found the actuating force for clockwise and anticlockwise direction. Now finding the dimension c to for self locking. For self-locking, the rotation has to be against the force. So, against so for counterclockwise, it is along the force. The when the wheel is moving along the force, force is a uh, force is upwards, and the wheel is moving along the force. But for self-locking, we lock only when the wheel is moving against the force. Force is upwards, and wheel has to move opposite to the force. So, the wheel has to move opposite to the force. So, so self locking will occur only for uh, counterclockwise or if opposite to the force. So self locking will occur only for counterclockwise direction. That is, F has to be uh, less than zero or equal to zero almost. So F actuating force has to be zero or no force has to be applied for self locking. So F according to counterclockwise direction, the F formula, actuating force formula is. We have to have to tend to a upon a plus b one minus it by mu minus c by a. So uh, using the actuating force equation of um, the clockwise, 
or less than or equal to zero. So now taking this to other side of the uh, equal to sign, we get taking this to other side equal to sign, we get zero. Zero into anything is zero. So we have one minus minus mu to minus c by equals to zero. Or taking minus c by to other side of equal to sign, we have plus c by a. So or uh, c by a is greater than one by mu, or c has to be greater than a by mu. Now uh, that is equals to 250 by 0.25 that means c has to be 1000 if c is more greater than or equal to 1000 mm then self locking will occur so it generated uh, g equals to mu p a c b equation 19.191 a written book so mu is of uh, equation friction that is 0.25 f p so p, pressure into area a c is nothing but the normal force fn so p into a c is nothing but fn or mu fn into v so fn is 8000 v is pi d1 n1 by 60000 so pi d1 is 500 the diameter of the drum n is the um, rpm that is 1000 rpm or 60000 so we get so pi d1 n1 by 60000 formula so we get uh, 5 2 3 9 5 over 8 watts or uh, divided by 1000 we get 52 0.359 kilowatts or 52.396 kilojoules per second.